In this video, I'm going to show you every single iOS 26 feature in action, 30 plus features. It's going to be a very interesting video. So let's get right into it. Feature number one, obviously liquid glass. This is a complete redesign of the entire operating system and it's visually amazing. Every time I pull my notification bar, every time I look at the app icons, every time I swipe on a menu, launch an action, or even the way a notification pops up, Liquid Glass and the UI revamp just blows me away. There's physics, elasticity, a natural way all the elements interact. Readability is one area where it has taken a hit, but I'm willing to live with that trade-off for this beautiful UI everywhere. Next up, the uniformity in the pop-up dialogues, notifications, and every single context menu in the OS has been updated. What I like is the rounded corners of every dialogue is rounded exactly to the shape of the iPhone, like the widgets, home screen edit pop-up, verification code pop-up, pop-up menu in apps like photos, etc. Now, everything feels very uniform and cohesive. Another UI change which I've come to love is the new iOS keyboard. It's minimalistic and modern looking keyboard. You can compare it to the old keyboard here. Only native apps are showing this new keyboard while other apps are showing the old keyboard in public beta. I hope Apple fixes this soon. Next up, a simple but welcome change. Every time when you connect your phone to a charger, the notification screen will show you an estimated time to charge your phone to 80%. Inspired feature, but I love it. The music app has gotten a few updates as well. When you play a music, album art fills the entire lock screen for a beautiful view. To get this view, just tap on the album art on the lock screen to fill the screen up. Some songs even animate on lock screen. Another feature coming to music is auto mix. When a song ends and the next song starts, the transition is much more DJ-like, matching the beats than just fading away. Another favorite feature in Apple Music is, we all know that it can show lyrics when playing a song, but now it can even translate those lyrics automatically. It's not available for all songs yet, but it should be available soon. Another feature I'm waiting to see is, it can even show pronunciations. I couldn't find a song where it works, but that would be awesome when it fully launches. It's in beta now. My next feature showcase is in the Photos app. When you open a photo, you can now see the spatial icon showing up. When you tap on it, iOS will convert this photo into a spatial photo to give a 3D look. This feature was kind of available before, but with iOS 26, the photos really, really pop up and the 3D spatial look is actually awesome. This 3D spatial photo is coming to the lock screen as well. When setting a custom wallpaper, I could enable spatial look on the lock screen here. So every time I move my phone, my lock screen shows a 3D wallpaper and it genuinely feels super cool. Speaking of lock screen, another feature that I've come to love so much is the glass clock. The clock can now be adjusted to make it super big. It so seamlessly adapts to the wallpaper in the front and feels like a natural extension. Not just that, when I swipe to show my notifications, the clock dynamically resizes and gets smaller. I deliberately do this multiple times a day just to see this animation. Okay, this isn't a feature, but I really wanted to call it out. The sliders in Photos app, Music app or everywhere is so liquid-like. Sliding is so satisfying and interacts just like water. Next big change is to the Safari browser. The UI is now so minimalistic and distraction-free. The address bar also minimizes at the bottom unless necessary. Pages occupy the whole screen as well, and it looks really good. When you select a text, there used to be a scrollable context menu, especially in notes, messages, etc. Apple has revamped this to be a vertical context menu. It's now much more easier to scroll and select options from the list. Next up, big changes to the native camera app. First time when you open the camera app, you will pretty much see just the shutter button and a photo video selector. It's clean, minimal and intuitive. When you slide, more camera modes are visible. If I need even more settings, I can simply swipe up on the selection and it expands to show all the options. Even selecting the record settings is much more cleaner and intuitive than before. And finally, the app also provides hints to clean the lens if it finds it dirty. People are going to love the camera app for sure. 
The default app icons have gotten a glassy look. A lot of native app icons have gotten a redesign as well. Not just that, now there is an option to make all the app icons completely transparent and clear. To do this, long press on the screen to edit the home screen, tap on edit and select customize. Now there is an option to choose clear icons. Widgets especially look so beautiful in this clear look. Even more control center actions has gotten the long press functionality. This was available to limited actions before. Now even more actions have more long press actions for more control. Message app has gotten a big redesign. Now you can set custom backgrounds for specific chats. The UI is also more refined and minimal. All the message categories are tucked in neatly here. Group chats has gotten typing indicators, polls and even auto translation of messages from other languages. Apple has redesigned other native apps as well. For example, the Photos app has gone back to its previous design of photos versus collection page. Now, all the albums, folders, categories are separated into a separate collections tab like before. The phone app has also gotten a redesign recently and most used contacts have bigger banners and easy to access. Inspired from Android, iOS phone app can now also screen calls before it drinks from unknown callers. You can tweak this in settings if you don't like it. Another inspired feature in iOS 26 is Call Assist. For calls where you will need to wait on hold, your iPhone can wait while you are away. It will ring back when someone answers the call. Another nice feature coming to the phone app is live translation during a phone call. These translations are all happening on device, so they are pretty quick and good. I hope Apple adds more languages soon. Similarly, FaceTime has also gotten a redesign. Big banners and minimal design. All categories are nicely tucked under the context menu on the top. During a FaceTime call, it can even auto-translate as someone on the other end is speaking. For now, the choices are small, but it's gonna get more languages soon. Another feature which many people will love is iOS 26 has made setting external songs as ringtones super easy. Let's say someone shared an audio file with you, you can simply tap on share and select use as ringtone to set it as your ringtone. Super easy. Apple Maps now has a Google timeline-like feature. It'll record every place you visit and keep track and record of it. It's all automatic and I can go back to find the place I visited, which I don't remember the name of. It even categorizes it by places and category. I honestly trust Apple to track my visited places over Google. Are you someone who uses Genmoji? Now, there is a feature in iOS 26 where you can combine multiple emojis to create a unique emoji for that conversation. Honestly, I'll find more use of this over just a described Genmoji. And speaking of Genmoji and Image Playground, the Image Playground app can now use ChatGPT as an option to generate images directly within the app. It still cannot generate ultra-realistic images like ChatGPT app, but I can describe something directly to ChatGPT and keep all my generated images in one place. There is a new app called Preview App. This one is my most used apps on Mac and it's coming to the iPhones as well. Think of it like the Files app, but a cleaner and faster way to view all your files locally saved on your iPhone. Markup, searches, sharing are all much more streamlined in the preview app. Next up, I want to show you some updates coming to Apple CarPlay. First off, we can see the liquid glass UI here as well. It now has an entire new screen for widgets, which I can customize fully. Messages and calls now don't block the whole screen. And rumors are it will get the option to play videos on the car screen when it's parked. This isn't available yet, but I'm looking forward to it. Circle to search is coming to iOS. Now you can take a screenshot of anything on the screen. Just circle whatever you want Google to search about and it can do a reverse Google search for you on the circled part. Exactly like circle to search. It needs Apple intelligence enabled though. 
Night owls will love this feature. You can now snooze your alarm to any custom duration, not the fixed 9 minutes as before. With iOS 26, you can now use AirPods as a camera remote. Your Apple Watch could do it before. Now, your AirPods can now trigger a photo or a video too. This will be helpful for vloggers who use AirPods as a mic. Speaking of vloggers and recording audio, iOS 26 now has an option to choose an audio input. Vloggers and content creators use external mics with their iPhone and it was difficult to pick one audio input over another iOS 26 now makes it easy to pick the audio input. And finally, one of my most favorite features, Shortcuts app, which I consider one of the most powerful iOS apps, can now natively use Apple intelligence. This can be fully used on device, offline and super fast too. You can create shortcuts to quickly summarize an Apple note, transcribe audio and a lot more. I'll make a full video on this topic since it's slightly a complex one. So there you go, 30 plus iOS features in iOS 26 public beta is available now. Try it out and let me know in the comments which is your favorite feature in iOS 26. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'll see you in the next one. This is Anjana. Bye-bye.